for the questions because I actually got to bounce in about 20 minutes. As always, these talks go a long time and I enjoy uh, learning from you. Are we going to get a 3-3-3 burn date? I mean, today is September 3rd or 4th. Uh, we had hoped for September 1st. Obviously, that didn't happen. What is the update? Is there an update on a potential burn date? Uh, any new uh, versions of the light paper for X1? Where does this all stand? So we're still debating the economic aspects of X1. And until those are finalized, I feel that launching another token like XN on Ethereum is actually going to be detrimental because think about it. Let's say that we do this launch and we're now saying, okay, they're going to be X1, but we don't, we don't tell you what it's going to do. Now, you would be then minting hopium that we're going to do the right thing, which is a very bad idea. And it's non-sustainable because you're getting into something that you have no idea what you're getting into. Like specifically, if you compare to compare this whole thing to Zen, Zen is very clear. You have all kinds of tools to estimate how many days you need to set yourself up, how much gas you need to pay. Are you minting or getting your C rank claims on the weekend or whenever the gas is high or low? You have all of that information available to you. So it's very clear with Zen what you're getting into. And there's no questions. But should we not, should we do this three 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 burn date launch without a solid plan that we stick to? We will end up selling copium and something that that is really not what crypto was supposed to design to do. It's crypto designed to be objective. Specifically, the code should be immutable. It should be transparent and open source. It should be sufficiently de decentralized. None of those things can exist with X1 because X1 is not yet available. So specifically, the reasons not to talk about the burn date just yet is because of all those new things that are coming up, like specifically layer zero. So we want to do a layer zero demo between the Fastnet and Ethereum. We want to show the community that it works, that it's amazing, that it's inexpensive and easy to use. We want to interconnect all chains within the Zenian ecosystem using OFT. Like specifically, we want people to trade MZen for BZen and have a low cost transfer between Polygon and Binance and from Binance to Ethereum and from Ethereum back to Polygon. We want to turn all of those things up. We want to demonstrate that it works and we want to incorporate it into X1. Obviously, it's running now as a Fastnet, which is a version of our testnet, the development platform. There, we want to turn it up and we want to show the community that uh, it's, it's actually is working and working well. And, that, and only after should we then come up with any particular dates and say, okay, this is how it's going to be. Because think about it this way. Like we launch it and then we discover something else that's like pretty great and we change the plan. And, every, and and there will be groups of people who are very happy and some people will be very, very unhappy. But ultimately, it's not a winning formula. So I would rather demonstrate technology first or at least get closer to the economics aspects of what we want to do and then announce the dates. And so specifically, that brings me to uh, the conversation I have had with Zensu just this morning. And I said, hey, listen, you know, we can do something really amazing with X1. Like for example, what would make us stand apart than the other chains? And I would say that technology itself does not necessarily generate value. What generate value are the economic principles that are bringing value to people that apply effort. So you apply effort, you're, you're creative, you generate something amazing and people love it and they bring value to you. And so one of the best ways to benefit builders and developers is to, is to share the gas spend on chain with the builders. Specifically, I want 80% of all gas paid for your project on X1 to go to you as a developer. So 80% goes to you, to your wallet, 
So like you launch a token or you launch a project, if you bring the community and the community is getting excited and uh, using your project, then any gas that they have spent on that project, 80% of it should go to your uh, OA or, or, or the, deploy, uh, the deployer wallet. Like OA does not actually mean that you have uh, control. Like the decentralization has nothing to do with it. Like for example, uh, you launch a project that's fully decentralized, fully immutable, no admin keys, but the deployer address is your address. You should be able to get paid with gas up to 80% of all the gas used for that project on X1. Now, no other chains have ever done that. Yeah, like you amazing. could, you could argue that I would say Bitcoin is the closest chain to do that for their miners, but it's impossible to be a miner on Bitcoin because you do not ever able to arbitrage electricity for Bitcoin. Like if you're a regular retail user of electricity, you're not running a data center next to a volcano or like somewhere in Iceland, <laughs> you're not making a killing on Bitcoin. And by the way, like those are just some prerequisites. The other prerequisite for running a miner is that you need to have like a hundred million dollar uh, credit line that allows you to buy equipment <laughs> uh, with the credit and then arbitrage between the rates of the credit w versus the cost of the Bitcoin you generate. But that is the only system that gives the miners the, the, the fees plus the subsidies. Now, what we want to do with X1 is we want to be very, very close to Bitcoin system without actually all the unfairness. Like specifically, if you don't run an ASIC or you don't live next to the volcano, you cannot actually do anything. So with, with X1, you launch a project, people generate and spend a lot of gas. 80% of that gas money actually goes to you, 20% gets burned. So that's kind of what we want to present to the world